as an adult in my 20s, I walked into a Brazilian jiu-jitsu school. Remember, in, I think, well, when did the first UFC happen? Was that 1994? Was it something like oh, that? Man. That's yeah. a good guess. Yeah, right. I think it was It, it was like 94. Been. And I remember, you know, sitting, I was with my dad, and we're watching TV together. So 94, I'm uh, 14 maybe. And we're watching TV, and a commercial comes on, Ultimate Fighting Championship. You know, mm-hmm. the, the dude's like, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. it's like, you know, which martial art is the best? You know, yeah. savat versus kickboxing versus taekwondo, <laughs> whatever. And so my dad's like, oh, he goes, uh, the, the, the judo or the jiu-jitsu guy is going to win for sure. And I'm like, no way. I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, no way, dude. I said, the taekwondo guy, the, the kicks and the flying spinning stuff, the kung fu guy is going to crush him. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 no. The judo or the jiu-jitsu guy is totally going to win. So anyway, we watched mm-hmm. it. And, you know, that's Hoist Gracie came out and whooped everyone's ass. And so years later in my 20s, jiu-jitsu school opened up here in San Jose. Mm-hmm. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to go give this a shot. I had maybe two and a half years of judo experience as a kid. Mm-hmm. And I'd been lifting weights since I was 14. I'm a, I'm a pretty bulked out, 215, 220-pound dude. And I went in there thinking, all right, let's see what this is all yeah. about. And the instructor, Purple Belt, Noman, Noman Rana, if you're listening, good friend of mine, mm-hmm. Skinny Indian dude, probably 165 pound, flexible, not strong at all. So he won't get offended to that because I tell him that all the time. <laughs> and I go in there and um, and I, I I say, hey, I'd like to try a class. Mm-hmm. Do you have any experience? Said, yeah, I have a little bit of a judo experience, but I'd like to try this out. And I was respectful because I came again from the judo Japanese background, so I wasn't an asshole. But he said, why don't you spar against me because you're a big guy? And I remember thinking like. All right, you know, 165, mm-hmm. not even a black belt, but all right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And um, fuck me up. Like yeah. in, in five minutes, I tapped out. I remember the first thing I did, you know what I did, Phil? I, th- I knew the guard existed, right? Because I watched UFC. <laughs> so I thought to myself, you know what's going to be a good move? So I'm strong. I'm going to grab underneath his, his, his pants oh, yeah. and I'm going to flip him up on his head and fold him in half and then <laughs> grab him. Wow. Right? This was like in my mind. So that's so what I did. So we, you know, we, we shake hands and he sits down on his butt because he's, you know, trying to be cool. Yeah. And I grabbed him and I folded him half and I have no idea how he ended up behind me. Mm. Choked me out. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember like tapping real hard, like he oh, choked me man. so hard. And then I remember thinking like, all right, now I'm going to go hard, right? So then I <laughs> applied a bunch of strength and uh, like a typewriter. I was just tapping, tapping, tapping. And um, we were done. And he says, so, okay, every, you know, do you want to switch to someone else? And I said, uh, I gotta, I'll be right back. I went outside and threw up <laughs> in the bushes and I signed up. There you go. Right mm-hmm. on the spot because I thought to myself, if this dude could kick my ass, yes. then uh, I need to learn this. So I did six years of jiu-jitsu, um, and I really enjoyed it. I ended up stopping because I owned a, a wellness facility, and mm-hmm. it required so much of my time. Yeah. The drawback of uh, jiu-jitsu uh, from, for, for me was that I needed to train with other people, and so I had to rely on classes sure. or other people's schedule, and I just couldn't do it. Yeah. So I was still lifting weights because I could do it on my own mm-hmm. and ended up you know, not going back.